Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we will see how to add Cisco iOS in GNS3 and work on VMware Workstation environment. Creating lab is very important for network engineers. Even for professionals to try it out something new they would implement in their production network. In GNS3, one can easily build their lab environment and practice routing and switching. And it is recommended for network engineers to practice labs more often. In here, we are going to use few software for adding Cisco router. First, we will use GNS3 2.1.15, GNS3 VM, then VMware Workstation 15 Pro, and Cisco iOS image. So I will install GNS3 2.1.15 GUI application on Windows 10 and GNS3 VM on VMware Workstation 15 Pro. This is the recommended way to run GNS3 VM. We will then integrate GNS3 VM with GNS3 GUI. Now first thing, we need to download GNS3 2.1.15 software from either GNS3 official website or from GitHub. We'll open our browser, we will type here GNS3 2.1.15 download. Okay, down here, this is the website github.com. This not not this version, so we'll have to look for the 2.1.15. So we can do is go to the next. Okay, after searching few page, I have got my version 2.1.15. Just click on here. Okay, we will download this one Genus 3 2.1.15 all in one dot exe. Just click here to download. Okay, it is downloading. But I will pause it because I have already downloaded this software. And we have to download another one is GNS3 VM. This one, GNS3 VM, VMware Worker Session 2.1.15. Just remember it should be the same version as GNS3 GUI software to work it properly. So click on here to download. But I will not download it because I have already downloaded the software. So I'll pause it. In my folder I have kept it. You can see GNS3 2.1.15 all in one and the GNS3 VM Workstation 2.1.15. Now I will download VMware Workstation Pro. You can download easily from the website. Go to their official website vmware.com. You can see the downloads free product trials and demos this one workstation pro workstation 16 pro for windows download you can see it's a different version workstation 16 pro i'm using workstation 15 pro for this video you can download this one no problem now first i will install genes degree software this one okay, double click click next Installing Genus 3 2.1.15 is pretty straightforward. Just click I agree. Click next. Check this box Word Viewer 7.0. Click next. Install. Okay, now we'll have to wait a little while to complete this installation. Okay, our installation is completed. We click next, click no. We can start now, click finish. Okay, now I will install VMware Workstation Pro. This is my VMware Workstation Pro 15.5. Click next, we accept click next click next we don't need that product update sorry we don't need any desktop shortcut so unchecked it okay this one is fine click next click install
Okay, to use VMware Workstation Pro, you need a license key. Otherwise, you have to use it for 30 days trial period. So we'll escape it here. Click finish. Now I will open VMware Workstation Pro. Okay, now we will open a virtual machine and we will select the GNS3 VM 2.1.15. Open. And the storage path, we have created a folder for storing the VM. This one. Now click import. We're importing the GNS3 VM on VMware Workstation Pro. Okay, this is our GNS3 VM already imported here. Now we'll have to change some settings. Click Edit Virtual Machine Settings. We'll have to select the 4GB RAM and the processor, 4 core processor, depending on your system actually. And the network adapter, we will select Custom Virtual Network and click OK. This should be OK. Now we will run this virtual machine to see if I get any error. Okay, so it is fine, no error. We'll go to the GNS3 now. Click Edit, go to the Preference. In the GNS3 VM, we will enable GNS3 VM. GNS3 VM fine. Run the VM in headless mode. We have to select here 4096, 4 GB RAM. Apply. Our GNS3 VM is running now. And the uses of CPU and the RAM you can see from here. Now we have to add Cisco router using a real iOS image. We'll go to the edit again, go to the preference. Now from here, Dynamips iOS routers. Click new. We'll have to run this iOS router on Genes3 VM. Click next. We can select a new image. Yep, put our image in here. Now click next. You can change the name but I will keep the default. Click next. I can keep the default RAM. Click next. You can add slot here. Click next. Now click on idle PC finder to set idle PC. Okay, it found the suitable value for my iOS image. Click OK and click next. Okay, now click apply and OK. Now create a new project. Give a name. Now click here to select your router. This is your new router that you have added. Okay, now you can build lab with the Cisco router. And I hope this video will help you to build your own lab. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.